Yeah, what up, my dude? I, I thought I would introduce a new concept today, something known as just the basics. And I'm going to cover some of the basic things you need to begin a new video game. This is Battlefront 2, quick tips for new players. And I got to know, why didn't you guys tell me this game was as awesome as it is? This game is a lot of fun, man. What I want to do today, I want to take you through some gameplay footage. I'm going to take you through just a couple of things you need to get started in the right direction with this particular game. So the three tips that we're going to cover today. We've got uh, teamwork makes the dream work, an easy class breakdown, and I'm a hero, and not necessarily in that order. So let's go over the classes. Let's review what they are. There are four different classes that you can play. The first one is a support style class known as the officer. This guy basically buffs up your teammates, and he locks down positions like uh, A, B, C, D, flag, whatever, after you've taken them with a turret. So he buffs and strengthens teammates, and he stays in that support role. Now, the specialist is a sniper unit or a guardian angel, and apparently if you don't have pouty lips, you cannot be a ranged support sniper. I'll stop. Um, so this guy is a sniper, and they can help support units from a distance. Now you've got close range, the assault class. This guy has an um, auto rifle, basically, and he has a shotgun. Play this guy on the outside. Don't get in the middle of the fray. Stay to the outside, but stay up close as well for flanking. That's what this one's primarily good at. So you'll see right here, I am on the zone, or the zone is to my left basically, but I'm not directly in the middle. That's for the heavy class. So I'm staying on the outside, providing a suppressive, supportive fire. I'm trying to help my teammates spot people. I'm trying to help out the heroes who see running across the field. And anyone that's coming in from a distance, it's up to me to either help my teammate get them clear or to move in if my heavy units fail. And you can see um, they're being shot at from the zone, but now they have to be angled and deal with me, who is on the outside of that zone so I can protect them from That's the assault class in general. Um, what you didn't see in this video was me running forward to help take the zone. So you should be helping out. If you have your officer behind you, if you have the sniper at a distance, it shouldn't be terribly hard to get what you need to get out of this class. This is um, a very, very good beginner class. If you don't know where to begin, begin with this class. It's a lot of fun. So, up next, we've got our heavy class. This guy is the original hold the line. He oppresses and he suppresses people trying to get to whatever location. He holds down lanes. Um, he always gets to the area first, or at least he should, so that he can then put up his shield and hold down a lane. That's what you want from the heavy class. So, if you're playing heavy, hold the line. That's the goal. Here's a little bit of gameplay. So I've got my little spinny thing going up here, and there's two lanes to my left that I'm currently covering while I'm around cover. So my strategy for this is to take care of anyone coming down one of those two lanes. I'm going to fire at anyone coming these lanes. I'm only level 8, so you can see I'm still fairly new to this. Cover on my left, fire to the right. You see the turret right there in the middle? That's from the officer that was supporting me. Now that I'm out of that particular ammo, I'm going to now hold this line with my shield while they flank on the right-hand side. Pretty cool. This game is so much fun. Oh my gosh. So, something I've also noticed, um, make sure you play with your team. In the hero section, or in the supremacy section. Getting singled out is the fastest way to lose. Really. You're, you're going to have a bad time. Yoda, no! So yeah. One against four. What's he going to do? You know? There's nothing he can do. Um, this happens to be a game mode called Heroes and Villains, which is really fun. Um, you can do things as a team. And what I've noticed in Heroes and Villains is they tend to um, separate. They attack from a distance to pepper the, the enemy. And then they divide and they separate when they can. So my job was to move in through the middle of them and get them to separate by 2v2s. So my teammates can then take them down 1v4 or 2v4, giving them the immediate advantage. And you see we whittled them down in such a way from attacking at a distance so that we could, you know, basically help our team win that match. Now, uh, yeah, this is the recap on teamwork. So... With heroes and villains or with anything else, attack from a distance, weaken the enemy, divide them, single them out, and then take advantage when they are distracted. Now, the last and final thing I want to go over, it's called, I'm going to be a hero. And to be totally honest with you, I really doubt that. <laughs> um, this game you're primarily going to be playing is either the classes themselves or as um, another, I forget what it's called, um, the reinforcements, I think it's called. So we'll go over those in a minute, too. But yeah. 
Um, if you want to get to being a hero as soon as possible, you need to make sure that you play the objective, equip the bounty card, and try your best to get as many kills as possible. Now, the reason I'm saying that, in Battlefront, they have these things called battle cards. Battle points, I'm sorry, battle points. Um, these are what you can use to eventually become the hero, meaning you can play, if you can buy them, one of the heroes that are, you know, there on your side. So Darth Maul, for example, Skywalker, for example, any of those particular heroes you can play if you rack up enough points. Your goal is to get there first, because from what I've noticed, if someone else gets to play the hero first, they tend to play the hero for the whole match, and then you've lost your opportunity. And that's why I'm saying you're probably not going to get to play the hero, not in the beginning stages of things. Here are the classes you're probably going to be playing more often than not. These cost about a thousand battle points each. And um, yeah, they're basically separated to um, Enforcer, Aerial, and uh, Infiltrator. And those are the ones that you want to try to play. Um, that is the best way that you can support your team if you cannot be one of the heroes. So a little bit of gameplay footage here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, this hero, I forget his, what he is, but he was really fun. He's an enforcer, I believe. Um, he has things that are specific to him. And you'll figure that out as you go. But your goal is to get to him as quickly as possible. And then after you've reached that goal, it's going to be to try to unlock one of the heroes and play if your teammates allow you to do that. I mean, you've got 20 people on your team. It's very unlikely that you're going to be able to play the hero in one of these games. Anyway, those are my quick tips. That's just the basics. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.